Hello and welcome to yet another video and in this video it is something different because I'll be unboxing the old Lumix GX1. This camera is by no means a brand new camera nor a modern camera, it is a really old camera at this point. I think it's about 9 years old by this point actually, I'm not sure, don't quote me on this. I just got this camera yesterday and yes I made a video about like completely ditching all of the Panasonic gear and everything but as I usually do go online and look for a really good secondhand offer, I recently just got a couple of Panasonic Panasonic cameras and uh, just because I don't like Panasonic does not mean they don't produce good cameras it just means that what they have doesn't really suit my needs that's all and in this video I'm gonna tell you why I got the GX1 so without further ado let's get into the unboxing first So um, here are actually the boxes and just opening this first, this is definitely with the camera, I mean uh, the previous owner obviously opened it when it was brand new, but yeah, it should in theory has everything, here's the body and lens cover, here's the strap which I won't be using really, um, here is the cable, everything is still nicely wrapped inside, here's the charger, here's the battery. Uh, so the reason why I got this L I I don't know, I'm tempted to say, to say LX cameras, but it's actually GX camera. And this is with the actual 14mm Prime, and that's actually why I went for this one, because, well, I got this whole package together with this viewfinder for 170 euros usually the lens alone is sold between 130 if you're lucky 130 euros but in average is around like 150 euros so if i were to pay 150 euros which is the average price that it goes for and not the lucky price of like 130 euros 120 euros then essentially i'm only paying like 20 euros extra for this uh micro four thirds camera and it's not bad it doesn't have full manual control in video, but hey, it's 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 a very cheap offer for this. And when it was announced, it was actually also quite uh, entry level and budget friendly camera. Anyway, I'm gonna put this to the side because I want to unbox the viewfinder, and it's actually really nicely packaged here. Um, this is a little pouch, wow. Okay, and there's another pouch inside this pouch. Oh, this pouch says Lumix. <laughs> Alright, here is the viewfinder. I don't think I'll be using the viewfinder that much, but hey, at least free stuff, eh? Well, not really free, it's together with this. <laughs> so yeah, here's the form factor. I, I'm really surprised by how small the 14mm is. I know some people don't like it if I expose the sensor like this, but still, this thing is tiny. And here's the reason why I bought it. Not only that's because it's a, like super affordable and, well, for, for where I live, I'm in the Netherlands and it usually goes for a lot higher price. Like the camera alone usually would be selling between 90 to 130 euros and the lens for another 130 to 170 euros, which is kind of ironic because in Germany, brand new uh, 14 millimeter f2.5 is 199 euros on Amazon. And usually you can get a cheaper deal outside Amazon, but yeah. Anyway, the reason I brought this here is, well, the main reason why I actually got this kit in the beginning is because I got this for 100 and 25 euros without the kit lens obviously but the whole thing here together with like three different batteries were 125 euros and I was really really surprised and I wanted to do a video project about this camera so I searched for a good cheap prime lens and this was like the cheapest I found in terms of like what I get together with this prime lens and the quality of this prime lens so I decided to get this as well and yeah, it offered up new video projects coming up, so stay tuned for that. So yeah, that's pr pretty much why. And I also want to try street photography with this 
setup as well because it seems interesting like it's so small there's a viewfinder up here because this is an older screen um it might not be good in sunlight so it's always good to have this uh viewfinder there anyway let's put in the battery and it starts up pretty quickly actually much quicker than my fuji cameras uh usually for street photography or just like one camera one lens setup that i most of the time go for like 95 percent of the time is my xt2 and the 14 millimeter uh f1.4 and sometimes the xt3 with the 14 millimeter that was actually filming my intro shot earlier anyway first thing what i like is there's actually the sound monitoring <laughs> but if i remember correctly i mean you can correct me if i'm wrong like the video mode on this camera is almost fully automatic so it doesn't really matter about the sound monitoring and also i cannot mount the microphones that i want to mount on here so yeah there's that oh there's one thing about this viewfinder is there's no sensor you have to press it to switch it but what i'm really impressed by it right now is it's really instant press and then press and then this comes up so with some cameras actually a lot of mirrorless cameras nowadays it's not even as fast when switching between the viewfinder and the lcd so that's actually pretty good but yeah that's pretty much it so these cameras will be contributing to my budget photography setup budget photography series that i have going that i once in a while really film but really really want to get into because with a lot of new cameras being announced today and also so many new features there are a lot of good cameras from like even five to ten years ago that still performs really well today but are really really dirt cheap or affordable that you know it's it's not so good to always look like overlook them so yeah i'm really looking forward to actually continue with the budget photography series and create more content into the uh, budget photography series and to a certain extent video setup as well because nowadays you can really get affordable gear and i would just like to help and contribute to that because especially nowadays there are a lot of people starting out on youtube and also just generally making videos whether it's for themselves or for their social media and things like that and there are definitely a lot other capable cameras to really start out if you're really looking carefully and have enough patience to wait for that good deal to come so yeah that's pretty much it if you need a free photography guidebook it's linked down in the description below so as my free 2021 photography calendar it's a digital download it's absolutely for free and you don't need to give me your email address nothing it's it's really free so yeah thank you very much for watching stay safe and have fun shooting bye